All right, guys, I'm going to explain to you something that you may have noticed appearing on your Pixel data using Pixel Tool Helper back sort of in uh, May, June. So this was a new rollout that Facebook did, and what I'm referring to is the microdata. In fact, there was two big things. There was an automatic event called subscribed button click that started to appear. And what this was tracking was people clicking specific buttons on your page. And then what you may also be seeing is microdata. So before it was just doing page view, now it's got this new field. If you don't have this yet, it's coming really soon to your account. Now, what I'm gonna talk to you today about is this one called microdata. So in a nutshell, what this is now allowing Facebook to do is send a lot more information back to Facebook in terms of what people are doing on the website, uh, for example, how long it takes them to perform specific actions, what specifically they're looking at, what, what they're doing on that website, and also what your website is actually about. So, all right, guys. All right, guys, what I'm going to talk to you about today is something that you may have started to notice in your pixel information back in May, June. So this was a new rollout that Facebook did. What I'm talking about is this little thing here called microdata. So again, I'm using the Facebook pixel helper to view this information. And you'll see here we've got what we call microdata. So before we just had page view and then back in sort of May, uh, all of a sudden we saw a new event called subscribed button click, which was tracking people clicking on buttons on the website and also microdata. If you don't have that yet showing up, it probably isn't far behind for you. So here's a brief overview of what this is and how to set this up for your website. So essentially what this does is it sends more information back to Facebook. It sends more data both in terms of what users are searching for, what specifically their interests are, what's happening. And the way that it does that is it tells Facebook more about what your specific landing pages are about. So what kind of product is it about? What kind of event is it about? What's going on on this page? So I'll give you an example of this. For example, let's say you have someone that is searching for barbecues on a particular website and that information is going back to Facebook. It's telling Facebook, hey, this page is about barbecues, it's about uh, outdoor cooking. So this person is engaging with this sort of to topic or product or category, if you will. Well, Facebook now knows this and what it can do with that information is it can allow other advertisers to properly optimize their campaigns uh, so for example, if you're an advertiser selling barbecue and you're using barbecues or targeting that is going after this specific type of, of audience, Facebook can now use that microdata information to get you better results for your campaigns. Kind of trippy, right? Kind of insane. This is kind of getting into the Google territory quite a bit. But as a marketer, it's very, very exciting. So what you'll see here is when we click on this drop down, we've got two little things. We've got schema and schema.org is really how Google um, finds information on your website. So and then we've got open graph, which is more of Facebook. So you can see here. Now, if you've got a little box showing next to this, it means that your schema is not set up properly. And this is important because Facebook is tapping into this. This is why it's showing you this information because it's also tapping into this information. So schema is, without complicating it too much, is structured
Now, without complicating things too much, schema is essentially structured information. So here's how you can start to set this up. And just a word of warning here, you may need a developer or at the very least, you may need an SEO expert or a developer that specializes in SEO. So what we do is very simple. Just head to the structured data marker help markup helper. So just Google structured data markup helper. And when you land on here, just click on website, you'll see there's lots of typical uh, schema um, categories that you can select. So products, events, movies, articles, all sorts of stuff. So let's go products and we're going to copy this URL and I'm going to punch it into the URL and we're going to start tagging and what we're going to do is actually create this uh, schema HTML to then place on our website. And so you'll see here, it's got all the data item, items that it's going to use to create this HTML. And it's very simple. You just start to highlight what you want to fill into here. So this is the name. Uh, this could be the description. This could be our image. And on and on it goes. The more information you have on that website, the better. And you'll see here, it's started to pull some of this information through. So the next thing we're going to do is go create HTML. And you'll see here, face, uh, Google is now asking you to install the highlighted bits. And you can find all the highlighted parts by just scrolling to these little parts here. So it wants you to install all of these little highlighted parts into the HTML source code of that landing page. And you can download this and send this to your developer as well if you don't know how to edit the CMS of your website and you can also make it as JSON. So that goes between the head tags. Once you finish this, there's a couple more steps. Face, um, I keep saying Facebook. Google is going to ask you to uh, test the structured data. And this is essentially using this tool here called Structured Data Testing Tool. Again, you would simply enter the URL and it will pull this through. And you can also check out some standard industry schema documentation at schema.org. So if you go to schema.org and you go get started, it will show you some of the most popular markups. So you'll see here. So these are the event types. So let's say product. There you go. So it's going to start to give you some pointers and you can really dive deep with all of this stuff here. But if you're not too sure, just stick to the structured data markup helper. All right. So here's what um, Google is, is pulling through our structured data testing tool. So you see it doesn't really have much of the description or any of that information. So this is why you would want to have schema or structured markup data, <laughs> mouthful, on that website. And this is kind of a, a brief overview of how to set this up. Uh, for those of you that are not comfortable editing the CMS of your website, you definitely need developers involved in this. But understanding that this is really important is the first step. If your client doesn't have this, this is a great upsell. Just, you know, upsell them for $2,000 and say you're going to set this up. They need this going to help them both SEO as well as for their Facebook campaigns. It is so important that you set this up. So if they don't have that, just upsell it to them and then tap the shoulder of a, a, an SEO style expert dev and get them to help you set this up into the CMS. And this is an overview of microdata, what it means and how to get started with it.